find out. Do you hate what I did? No. Nice. Nice. Always buckle your seatbelt. I was making, making sure my partner was buckled. A lot of deaths happen that could be prevented if you uh, people would just wear their seatbelt more often. I wonder what portion of fatal crash, fatal or fatalities in a car wreck would be prevented if people were had their seatbelt on. I mean, this is pretty run-of-the-mill stuff, but... We would like to get the statistics on that without looking them up if any of you guys want to help us out. Yeah. Um, and go ahead, if you look it up and find the information... May, you might want to get involved in the cause. Yeah, that's true. Um, ideally, we would put, like, a charity in the description that people wanted to donate to. But they could look it up. I mean... Well, I mean, we should... I mean, I, I think... We can find one pretty easy, I'm sure. I mean... Yeah, you're right. You're right. What what charity should we put in the I don't know. The only one that's coming to mind is Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Oh, nice. But that's not... That's kind of a political one, isn't it? I don't know. And it's not exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about... Yeah, we're talking about seat seatbelt and driving. So, um, but what portion of drunk driving oh. involves not wearing seatbelt deaths? You know? Like well, the dr drunk this. driving deaths that involve seatbelt too. Oh, the coffee shop. Nice. Yeah. Well, hey, let me say this, though. Actually, I won't say that. That's another topic for another video. It has to do with Wikipedia. I think it's an important topic that I would like to hit. But anyway, we'll do that another time. Um, but yeah, go ahead, Kildy. So we went to this coffee shop in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yeah, we can come into view. Nice. Um, how we can clean. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, we're good. Hi. Uh, we went to this coffee shop in Fayetteville, Arkansas, near Dixon Street, somewhat. I think it was on in it. Relation. Oh, it was. Literally on it, yeah. On Dixon Street, yeah. near Dixon Street. <laughs> By the See way, what I did there? I don't know if you guys know, or I don't know if it's true, but as far as we understand it, Dixon Street, which is a University of Arkansas in Fayetteville, is one of the premier college streets, like for bars and going. Well, out. I wouldn't even. Yeah, Do you think it's true? Street, but I think just streets in America. Party streets. In like it's. Is it like America. somewhere? Not not bourbon, obviously, but it's like. It's up there. Is it like? It do you think it's top twenty? No. In America, okay. Do you think it's top fifty? Okay. I think so because I can't think of a more premier one in Missouri. The only pre more premier one that I have on the top of my head, and I, obviously that's not saying much because I don't have that many on the top of my head, but the only one that I can think of right now, or the only ones I can think of, are Bourbon, 6th Street, in Austin, Texas. Um, I mean, there are so many more. I mean... I, I don't know if you, it, depends, <laughs> it, it depends on how you define these streets because obviously a random ass street in New York City is probably going to be better than like most even though it's like not that street for this like this kind of street but it's still going to have more stuff going on than any of these streets I'm mentioning so it, it kind of depends how you define it I'm sure anyway I'm rambling as usual go ahead guilty dude we're already <laughs> 315 in take it away take it away Give it away, give it away. I'm gonna stop there. Nice. There's a song. Uh, so, what I. We went to this coffee shop called The Puritan, and my golly jeepers, it was incredible, I would say. Yeah, I think I think overall we're both gonna give rating reviews. I, would, I don't know about rating. I, I, would say, I would say five out of five stars on everything that you would see on a review, except nice. the service. Nice. I would, I would still give it a four. I would still give it a four. You would. Yeah, just because it's one instance. Yeah. I have to be convinced. I like the place enough that I would go back, so maybe I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt for sure. Yeah. Everything else seemed perfect, so I don't want to take away too many points because there was just a small miss out. Yeah. Uh, I see what you're saying. I just thought, it could have been a misunderstanding. I don't even, yeah. I just thought it was his attitude almost. Or not his yeah, attitude, okay. so but just like... His whole demeanor. Yeah, his demeanor. Nice. Okay. Um, well, enough about that. Well, yeah, I mean... It, the positive things. Anyway, yeah. I mean, he, I'm sure he's a fine guy. There was, an, there was a store... I'll let you talk about that. I didn't go in there. Oh, the clothing store? There was a yeah. clothing store connected to the... So this coffee shop had an upstairs. It had a clothing store connected to it. Um, pricing wasn't amazing, but I guess that might be expected. I don't know. I wasn't thrilled with the prices. Um, they did give us free water at least, but that's pretty standard for coffee shops. My coffee tasted good. How do you like yours? It's great. Yeah, it's good coffee. Um, what taste would you say is hitting the heart? I have a nutty. I yeah. A real nutty taste. The nuts are... I was gonna make a terrible fucking sex joke. Um, towards nuts. Good. Nice. Good. Um, I uh, yeah, that was a weird detour I just took in that one. I don't know why I did no, that. No, people think of people have. I know people's heads are in the gutters because I see them. 
you see their heads and gutters. Yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> Is it concerning when you see it? <laughs> If oh I saw someone's dude. head in the gutter, I'd be like, "You have a small head, dude." What? I, I would just. Where's assume, your brain? Yeah, I would um, behead them and get it over with. Um, I uh, is that a threat? Can we post this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah, I, I don't. Think, I think I didn't threaten anyone specifically. Yeah. Just anyone who's head in the gutter. But um, anyway, overall, I mean. It, you're probably realizing we didn't post as much as we made it out to be when we said, but there just weren't good times. For I wouldn't it. even know what you're talking about. Right now. I okay, would, I wouldn't even know what you're talking. We have a, we had about. a video last night. Nice, nice. We had a video last night called "The Game of a Long Night" or something where we were talking about about it. But times weren't right. We just posted one. I think it's up. Hopefully, I, I need to check to see if it uploaded. We're in the middle of nowhere right now. That's not totally true, but um, I don't know if it posted. We have one that's kind of funny. I think I think we like it. What am I rambling about? Why am I doing this? I always do this. I do it. I do it when I send this guy voice messages. I do it on the phone. I do. I just ramble. I do it in video. I don't no, know what I'm it's doing. It's all good stuff. No. Nice. An, nice. An, an, analyzing. Analyzing. Nice. Are you, are you shocked if you make a pretty long drive and you see more than a hundred cows? <laughs> also, have you ever seen just a wh- totally white cow? I'm talking a hundred percent white. <laughs> albino cow. cow. Yeah. Have you seen an albino? Um... Or an all black, for that matter. I don't think I've seen an all black cow. Really? Well, it depends if you find black. Well, those have been named. I mean, I've seen like a dark cow, I think. Without any splotches on I don't know if that's true or not. But I feel like bulls are dark, but they're brown. They're not black, right? Are bulls cows? I don't know the answer to that question. Are bulls <laughs> male cows? Nah. I think they are. Now, there's male cows that are like... Not bulls. Right? I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think bulls are male cows. We need a... Theodore, look that up, please. Yeah, we got we got a statistician in the back or a yeah. research. He's our research guy because we have so much. We have so much. Um, okay, you know. what he's saying is he doesn't know either, and right now we don't have service. So thank you, Theodore. We're for gonna have to trying. stop. Paying. Yeah. We're not gonna pay him as well now. Yeah. Fucking Theodore. I cuss. Sorry about that. I mean, we're just gonna have to take the yelling cussing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, high, high regard to Puritan. If you're in or around Fayetteville, go ahead and check it out. It's interesting crowd. Mostly college kids, I'd reckon. Yeah, yeah, that was... Mostly females. What do you think the standard deviation was between the humans? More, uh, your over or under is three years. Of age? Yeah. I think my understanding is... I think I would have a tough time... Um... I would... Ooh, that's a great question, though. Your, his over-unders have been super good the last 14 to 18 hours. How long has this trip been? Um, would you call this a trip? Nice. Would you call it a vacation? Yeah. Really? Would you call it a... A staycation? No, we didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> would you call it an excursion? Oh, we need to shout out that, that comedian. I need to say my piece. Not Chris Christo? Yeah, what's his last name? Dalia? So... I didn't realize it at the time that I was saying it, but there was a video when we were in IHOP and I had made the, I had made a joke that was similar to a guy named Chris D'Elia. He, he's taught, he's talked about the fact that like if, and I've went to, I went to one of his shows and it was fucking 10 out of 10 stars. Hey buddy, uh, pronouns. We went to one of the shows. Don't knock me out of the story like it's, <laughs> I'm just joking. We. We nice. went to a show in Kansas City, and he just knocked our socks off. But he he, he made a joke. Knocked. I don't know if it was there or if it was on one his of his specials, but yeah, our podcast. But uh, he had said it's funny if you come to one of his shows and you're dragged there and you don't want to be there because then he's already got your money. And he, and so I said something similar to that. So Chris D'Elia, I apologize. You're funny as hell. Yeah, he You've influenced me, and I didn't even know it. He wasn't trying to plagiarize, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, but also, Chris, we might tweet this. We've been thinking about tweeting our videos out to you just in the off chance that you like it because you're a weird enough dude to maybe like this crap. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say this too. Don't even worry that we're going to contact you because I'll. neither of us have Twitter. So we won't be tweeting you anytime soon though, but the idea is in our head. Do you have a Twitter? Yeah, from back in the day. But it might be logged, but I mean, I haven't been on it. In- Brooks has a Twitter. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm a, I, don't tw- I, I literally haven't been on it maybe since high school, which is 30 years if you guys know my age. Was, what what is the word? Oh, dude, we're at nine fifty. Okay, last thing. What does glunker make you think about? Glunker? 
Nice. I'll have to think about that and get back to you in the next video. Go ahead. Perfect.